com licença. Com licença. Com licença. É com licença. Com licença. Oh. Ei, senta aí. Uhul. -huh. Puxa. Well, hello there. Have you ever tried to do a green screen video only to find that it was just too frustrating and you did not get the results you wanted? This tutorial will show you some common ways to create green screen videos using both desktop software and a really cool and affordable iOS app that makes the process painless, simple, and gives you better results than you could ever achieve before. There are, of course, many apps for accomplishing this, and I will demo just one that I have found works amazingly well. This is not designed to cover how to use any particular software program on your computer, such as Final Cut Pro or Sony Vegas, and I think you will find that the app will be much easier and more fun anyway. The steps to doing green screen are pretty much the same for all software. Some call it keying or karma keying, as it is commonly called, but the concept is very similar in all of them and very easy to accomplish once you've gone through the steps. I will briefly show you in this video a technique for using this chroma keying to remove all the green in the scene and replace it with whatever you want. In my samples, I will demonstrate using a still image for the backdrop and videos so you can get an idea of how it looks and what effects some minor adjustments to the scene and lighting can have on your results. Any color can be used as your backdrop, but the most common are either blue or green, and all that it really matters is the background color should not be anywhere else in your scene. I have intentionally set up the studio sample badly to illustrate some of the more common problems and what to do about them. For example, in my scene, there are problems right off the bat such as a wrinkled backdrop that will cause shadows, my subject is directly against my backdrop, which cause shadow and lighting issues, and the scene is unevenly lit. My favorite thing about the new iOS app is how it helps the average person be able to achieve this very affordably and makes it fun. A separate video will be created for using this app and I will show green screen videos created with this app. Okay, so what you're going to see during this little section is the lighting problems. For example, here there's some shadows from a couple of things, bad lighting and the subject is too close to the backdrop and of course there'll be a lot of other issues and again those are intentional so that I can show you kind of what you can do about them and then like here you can see what the effect of that is so you you if you move your subject further away from the background or change the lighting which you can see I'm kind of doing see how it changes the shadows and improves it so between those two you can optimize your results a little bit so like here is just a small lighting corrections and it, it can help some but uh, that may not do it on its own and then there's um, also going to be some sections after this that I do videos. I'm going to go ahead and move the subject out from the background just so you can see um, what the effect of that is. There is nowhere to hide. Your only chance of survival is to seek out your enemy before he finds you.
Okay, I'm just going to demo some of the basic features of the vScope app. There's a lot of stuff on the screen that might be a little confusing, but you really don't need to worry about um, anything except just a couple of the icons. And the main ones, this key select down here, this is what lets you go through the process of setting up your green screen, getting the white balance right, uh, and it's a little wizard that it'll step you through. I'll, I'll address that in a separate video to go through all the exact steps for doing that. And then this tab up here uh, is what allows you to go through and select the different backdrops. And again, I'll cover that in a different tutorial. I just wanted to show you the screen of this app and pretty much what you can see, the, the real power of this once you set up the keying if you need to is you've got real-time effects. I can move my lights around. You know, I can say, okay, that I need to put this light over there. Real-time, you can see exactly what you need to do to fix your video. And then I'll show you a sample of the final correct output of this, and it looks pretty darn awesome. And finally, this last section is some samples of videos with backdrop using the vScope Live application. And initially, the first clips, you can see they're still not quite lit right. The subject is still against the backdrop, just so you can see the effect of that. So you can kind of see some little oh, sections that are kind of showing through on him where the background is showing through him and some shadowing and different things that really don't look right. So the, again, the two things even in this app to fix that is move the subject away from the background and get it lit just right and another thing with this vscope live app that'll make a really big difference is if you go through their little wizard and make sure you do the white balance part where they're going to have you you'll see in the tutorial put the white card in there it makes a huge difference on the quality of this effect, which on the final clip that's coming up, you're going to see that once you get everything dialed in right, uh, it's lit right, and you've done the little wizard correctly, the results are amazingly good and would have been a lot harder to do on desktop software that now with these iOS apps, it's amazingly simple and you really don't have any excuse for doing this yourself. So here is the final result, and you can see Johnny looks pretty darn good, pretty realistic. And of course, you know Johnny, he likes to drink, so he's getting a little tipsy, and he's probably going to fall down. Why is the rum always gone? So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and we will include the full tutorial for the vScope Live app after this video. Okay, this is going to be a tutorial for vScope Live. Pretty, uh, pretty good overview of the app. I want to focus uh, initially, first of all, at how horrible the screen looks, uh, just so you have an idea of it's going to look horrible until you go through the little wizard to set up the proper um, lighting, the color background you're going to use, etc. So. It may look horrible. Yours may not look that bad, but you'll get the idea. And the screen is, I'm going to have to move the phone around a little bit to get this to fit in the recorder. Um, so, let's see. The first thing I want to show you is up here, all of these icons. This stuff is kind of big, but basically this icon here is what allows you to switch between the front and rear facing camera. Uh, the one pointing at your face would be useful for doing your own green screen. Just hold it up against you and you film yourself against the backdrop. It works every bit as well as the sample that I put in my video. This over here, a little bit more advanced, but you can use another iOS device like say an iPhone to control your iPad or the reverse of that. So you can actually uh, put your camera somewhere where maybe you can't even operate it and use one of these devices to remotely do all this stuff I'm going to show you. The red is the record button. Think of this little ring here as like your little uh, life ring that they throw you on the boat. This is for help. This is what you're going to use to play a video. 
this actually is a fine adjustment tool for tweaking the green screen effect that I'll kind of show you. And then down here at the bottom of your screen, you're going to see this icon here is what you use to set your keying effect. Pick the background color and tweak it and adjust it. This is a little bit more of a fine adjustment. So you'll see when I click on that one, now you have a fine tuning of your keying effect. This photo is the one that you can use to quickly change from your backgrounds that you have loaded in your library. And of course some other adjustments for adjusting the image that's being used, capture an image from your camera. And these are a couple of images for previous and next image that I have loaded up in my library already and I'll show you how that works. Uh, this icon right here is for tweaking your white balance, exposure, and focus. Uh, you can really tweak the effect if needed, but I'll be honest, in my use of this app and the way most of you guys are probably going to use something like this, the little wizard that they built in, that autom it automates this whole thing and you get really great results. And the video I did in the previous one with the Captain Jack Sparrow doll against the background, that was all done just using standard automatic settings. This icon over here uh, is the one that you will use to re-export content you've created. Uh, check your settings for where you want that content loaded. So videos that you create with this app that you're going to export, uh, that's the setting for, for how to do that. So the main thing I want to show you here when you first launch this app that's the most important. Now for my sample here, you really can't see it, but I've just got a little blue square piece of paper that I'm setting my iPhone on. And what I'm going to do is show you how to use this little key wizard to set that up so that that background that looks horribly fuzzy right now is going to look really great for, for our uh, green screen effect. Well, blue screen in this case can be any color you want. So. So the first thing you do is press the key select and it's going to ask you what color is your screen. So I have a screen set up. It really isn't, but I'm duplicating that. It's really just a piece of paper, but it's the same idea. And in my case, this one is a blue screen. So the first thing this thing wants you to do is put a piece of paper and you'll see a little bit better representation of the the screen. So it's telling you your backdrop. What you do is put a piece of paper in there and this is how the app can figure out the correct white balance for the scene which has dramatic effect on how good this is going to look. So make sure you do that. Uh, if you do not get the white balance set or you didn't do it or you ignored this, that's where you'll get those fuzzy little sections, the background showing through. It really does make a big difference to so make sure you do it. So on this little wizard all you do is you press you put a piece of white paper in the background and mine I have to make sure I get it in there so I'm gonna have to make uh, make this work just for this tutorial so you just hit the next button it's gonna go through a little timer here I can't move it for the video because I need to let it do its thing and then after the words it's gonna ask you to remove that white and it's going to reread re that scene and make an adjustment that you're going to see that when it's all done here, once I have a proper background, look at how good that looks. It's kind of hard to see because I have to zoom around on here. But you can see this is going to be a really great background. You can see as I move my phone around, see what happens with, with some of those sections there? It, uh, it's all about lighting. It's all about the tweaking of that adjustment. Now, if I wanted to, I can take these sections and tweak these settings. Which, let me see if I can do it a little bit just to show you. Well, it's it, I'm too close to the camera to show you, but you get the idea. You just you can tweak the strength and the color to if you need to. But like I said, if you do this properly. You really don't have to mess with this and it's going to look perfect. It's pretty amazing the results you get. And that really is all you have to do to completely set this up. 
to do a perfect green screen similar to the one I did in the tutorial, the previous video there. So give this thing a try. It's pretty awesome. Okay, now I want to show you how to load up your library with the images. They come with a really good selection, but you can use pretty much anything you want for your background. A still photo, a video clip, just about anything you can imagine. Other footage you find, the list goes on and on and on. So. All you need to do is a little icon with the picture on it. You just click on that. Whoops. My fingers are kind of fat today. And then you hit the select button. Now I already have some images loaded up, but I want to show you how to add some. So you can see I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whoops. One, two. Yeah, I have seven, some video, which you can see by the icon, and some still shots loaded up in my library and I'll show you how quickly you can switch between those once you select them. So if you wanted to add any to this library, you just hit this little plus button and you can see there's a lot of choices on this screen, but the main one I want you to see if you don't have any other, you should if you downloaded the full version. Now if you're using the free version, I'm not sure if you're going to see these backgrounds or not. This is, I purchased the full version. Come on, it's $2.99 a cup of coffee less than a cup of coffee. So there's 22 backgrounds. You click on this and let's just say I want to add, I don't know, this one right here. See how you put a check mark? You just pick, you probably just want to pick all of them so you can play with them and then you hit done and you can see that that's going to add that clip here to my library so that when I hit this close button up here, okay, and I go back to my scene Okay, I apologize for the focus on some of this because I'm awful close to my iPad. Uh, so you can, and plus it's moving, so it's with this really low light in here, it's having a hard time focusing on that. So just ignore that. And basically, what will happen is when you click on this pictures tab, you're going to see that you have previous and next buttons here. Okay, like if I want to go back to that Hollywood, see how it changes your backdrop? So now I've got that backdrop. And I've got that backdrop. So you can see it's really super easy to just go through and change your backdrop to anything you want. And this, this is not the best way to show you, but you can see how great that's going to look as a backdrop when I start filming against it. And that's really all there is to it. You can... Uh, instantly switch your backdrop which is huge if you've ever done any green screen and trying to do it with a real green screen a big old set of props and a setup it, it, this this is amazing what this app does you're going to be really really happy with it maybe not as happy as somebody's had to do it the hard way but believe me with this app it's a whole nother world it's really awesome